Happy New Year. I'm Bill Roberts, Chair, 2017 Chair of the Greater Fulton Beach Chamber of Commerce. Uh, I've learned quickly that this job is going to be time consuming, uh, and I'm not opposed to that, but I'm certainly happy that I have an employer who uh, allows me the time to serve and, and also understands the value of our chamber. So with me today, our guests are Dennis Barnes, founder and president of Barnes Insurance, and Glenn Little, vice president and in charge of our Fort Walton Beach office. And first of all, thanks guys for being here. And I'm going to start with Dennis. And, and, and Dennis, I'd like you to talk a little bit about uh, Barnes Insurance and 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 why you started in the health insurance market. Yeah, well, thanks, Bill. And before we get started, I wanted to say congratulations to you on being the 2017 Chamber President. It's Thank quite you. an honor to be the president of your hometown, and uh, we're real proud of you, and congratulations. Thank you. A um, little bit about Barnes Insurance. Originally from Pensacola, went to Florida State, got my degree in risk management insurance. Spent a long tenure with Florida Blue Cross and Blue Shield, 2005, we started our own agency. We have an office in Pensacola, Fort Walton Beach now, and Maitland. Um, our focus is on health insurance, employee benefits, and financial planning. Uh, so many of our peers we found concentrate on property and workers' comp, and we realized that employers needed the expertise in the healthcare arena with all the things going on in healthcare, and that's really the space that we uh, are in. And we have over 15,000 uh, insured clients right now, and some of the best of them right here in Okaloosa County. Well, great, and Glenn, uh, like I said, Glenn uh, uh, helps run our Fort Walton Beach office. And Glenn, why don't you talk about some of the strengths of Barnes Insurance and what we bring to, to not only Northwest Florida, but to Okaloosa County? Sure, sure, we're um, obviously glad to be in Okaloosa County. Um, we have a really unique set of skills and experience. Uh, Dennis, he has a degree from Florida State in insurance and risk management. I graduated from Auburn with a degree in human resources. And um, we've, um, we've worked over the years uh, with our clients to try to get them prepared for uh, health reform um, and then also any changes that, that has been over the last several years, which have, have, have been a lot. But uh, I think with our team, again, we have a real unique set of skills. Uh, as I said earlier, I, I have a degree from Auburn uh, in human resources management and worked in human resources at Russell Corporation for many years. Uh, actually, when I first moved to Florida, I was uh, working in human resources at Niceville and Crestview facility and uh, worked there for about nine years and then uh, made a transition over to Blue Cross Corporate. And um, I've actually been on every side of the table, so to speak. So when Dennis and I sit down with a client, uh, we've been the client, we've been the company rep, uh, and also now a, um, an, an independent agent. Uh, which we use to uh, the advantage for, for our clients. We, um, Dennis actually also worked at Blue Cross as well, so we were past corporate um, insurance carrier employees and uh, decided to open our firm in uh, 2004. I joined Dennis in, in 2005, and uh, we've really, really grown our business in, in Okaloosa County and particularly in the, in the Fort Walton Beach area, so we're very, very proud to be here. Yeah, um, you know, we uh, we did open our office here about three years ago, probably a year ahead of schedule because business was uh, uh, increased at such a rapid rate for us, and, and, and we're thankful for that. Uh, Dennis, why don't you talk about, uh, since this is the Chamber Forum, talk about the value you think the Chamber brings to, to our business. Sure. Um, well, certainly we want to support the Chambers and the business areas that, that we're um, doing business in and improving the quality of life of hopefully all of the members in the community. Um, we're a member um, of I think five different chambers of commerce now. Um, interestingly enough, um, I'll have to say Bill, there is uh, an unmatched uh, level of enthusiasm in the Fort Walton Beach Chamber. Uh, the, the energy that that Ted brings to this organization and the, the membership. Um, it's really what a chamber should be. 
which is uh, supporting local business and promoting opportunities for local business. And for us to be a part of that, to be a part of the community, and to uh, hopefully help facilitate uh, that for everyone, uh, it, it's just an honor for us to, to be in the chamber to have you in this leadership position this year. Well, again, I, uh, I appreciate the time you, you allow me to serve. Uh, uh, I think it is a, a benefit not only for our business, for, but hopefully for all the businesses that are involved in the chamber. Uh, you know, it's a lot of opportunities in the chamber. We have 11 committees that, that people can get involved in. We have special events from bow legs to Mardi Gras to dog days and on and on and on. It's just a, a great place not only to network and share ideas, but also an opportunity to make friends. Uh, and uh, I've got to know a lot, of, a lot of good people here in this chamber and, and really proud to be the 2017 chair. Uh, I know you guys, well, I've seen Glenn, he probably could work 24-7, but, <laughs> but, but I know you do things outside uh, Rotary and things like that. Why don't you talk a little bit about yourself, Glenn, and then we'll let Dennis talk about okay. what he does outside uh, of the business. Sure, I'd mentioned earlier, uh, graduated from Auburn, so I uh, still try to attend, attend, attend a few games uh, up there during football season. My daughter's a freshman at, uh, at Auburn as well. And my wife and I both graduated from Auburn and uh, been married 28 years. I uh, met my wife in the third grade, and uh, but we, <laughs> but we didn't, didn't start dating until, until we were in college. And, uh, but um, just love this area, um, uh, love living here and raising a family here. Um, I'm an avid golfer. I love to play golf. Uh, if I'm not playing golf, I'm usually working on a, a hot rod. So I love cars. Um, great car shows in, in Okaloosa County, so I try to make every car show and I always see clients. We have so many uh, clients in the area, whether it be the uh, Okaloosa Board of County Commissioners or Fort Walt Machining, White Wilson, uh, just many, many uh, businesses in Okaloosa County. So it's always good to, to see our clients on the weekends as, as well. And uh, I'm a Rotarian and for the last 12 years, and um, just really dedicated to my Rotary Club and been very, very active. Great. I know you're very involved in your church also. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Dennis, how about you? Um, a lot like uh, Glenn, uh, love the area, grew up here. Um, when I went off to Florida State, I put uh, white beach sand in a cat litter <laughs> box underneath my desk and said one day I'll be home. Um, and, and I was so blessed to be able to come back here and, uh, and, and start our business. Um, I'm really an avid saltwater sportsman um, involved in, in our community, in Rotary, um, in, in several foundations in Pensacola, um, but love the Gulf Coast, love this area. Um, Fort Walton has a, a appeal that is so unique uh, that I think so many other places in Florida have lost. and. Uh, it's great to see it. It's great to be a part of it. Um, we are really excited about 2017 and, and what this chamber is doing, what the business environment uh, is doing in Fort Walton and the opportunity here. Um, and then hopefully uh, we'll get out on the boat a little bit and <laughs> catch some fish. Uh, um, I'm still do a big cobia for this next year. so uh, I didn't get it this last year, but we do love it. Uh, and it's a great part uh, of the state to be located in. Well, great. Uh, you know, it, our chamber is, uh, uh, this community is unique, I think. Of course, I've lived here all my life, so I don't know any other place really. Uh, but it is unique, and uh, I think our, our chamber's been around since 1946. And I, I think one of the visions of the founders who originally started the, the, the Fort Walton Beach Chamber was that of of course, adding value to its members, uh, being active in the business community, but also being relevant in the community. And I think our chamber has. Uh, you know, you look at past history of the Greater Fort Walton Beach Chamber, uh, 1955, the chamber helped promote changing the name of Fort Walton to Fort Walton Beach so we could add the beach to kind of incentivize tourism in our area. Uh, the chamber was behind that issue, and in '86, uh, our past chair Marty Tate uh, led a coalition of chamber members to uh, 
uh, go to the county commissioners and pro promote a 9-11 emergency phone system, which we now have in effect. So, uh, and I think you guys understand too, uh, our community is special and, and, and we think we're kind of the constant in that and uh, keep yeah. striving to, to promote it. And that's it. it. You know, when you say you're relevant, um, I think the attendance in the Fort Walden Beach Chamber um, at uh, your installation, uh, we, when you have some of the, the strongest political candidates in the whole region decide to be there for breakfast in the morning, uh, that speaks volumes uh, of this group of people. Um, and to have the attendance uh, of over 400 people at, at 7 in the morning for breakfast before they put in a full day, and not just to see it once a year, to see it every single time they meet, that tells me um, the value that you're bringing to this community and what you're doing is on track. I think the leadership that, that Ted has provided, the energy that he provides, um, it's always fun as well. Uh, you know, I can go to some of the other chambermen meetings that I, I go to and I, I can tell you, I don't come out nearly as entertained as I do when I come down here to Fort Walton. And that's fun. Uh, and why can't business be fun? Yeah, yeah when we first uh, uh, formed our office here, uh, after I went to the first chamber meeting, I called Dennis. I'm like, you've got to come to this meeting. It is unbelievable. And uh, so I, the first meeting he came, obviously, and after, the, no disappointment there. Yeah. Well, we talked a lot about the chamber, a little bit about the business, but uh, why don't you talk about, you know, the products, the ancillary products that we offer the clients. And, and if you would, to, to, when I started with y'all, you know, uh, the Affordable Care Act was just coming into being. Uh, and, and talk about, you know, the complexities of that and how we help our clients. The, the Affordable Care Act, really, Glenn and I uh, became students of immediately. We felt like it was going to pass. Um, we got people out of the politics of it and said, you know, like it or not, this is the law. You have to comply. There's a lot of complexities. There's a lot of testing. There are a lot of requirements. There are a lot of measurement periods. And when you sit down with a business owner, they really don't want to talk about that. When we sit down with the folks at uh, um, Fort Walton Machining, they want to get back in the machine shop and, and build the products that, that they have uh, have been trained to do. And they let us worry about those health insurance components. And that's really um, where our agency excels, um, is in that competency and that expertise of compliance with the Affordable Care Act. And, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see how things unfold this year. Um, we, we really consider ourselves a, a partner to our clients, so we pledge to keep them informed. Um, and most of them sleep very well at night knowing that they're compliant with all the things that they need to be in compliance with. Glenn and I uh, spend a lot of time on that with them and are fortunate that uh, we've had a good reception in this community. It's going to be an exciting year next year in health insurance. Yeah. Well, again, I want to thank you all for, for being our guest today, and I appreciate, uh, again, the time you've given me. Great. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks, Bill. Thanks. Happy New Year.